is did you miss us because I missed you <laughs> so we are guys this next four days it's like we're going ham in the middle of the summer but it's October the end of October so we are you and I we we are just rolling in to Orange County Ferris Speedway it is Eastern States weekend this evening we close out the Northern Shore Trek Super Series so tonight is the last points finale for them 50 laps $10,000 to win I've got both Mike and Billy competing and then we're just gonna be here for the next four days I think I think it's the next four days <laughs> Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday so just about to roll in here guys I think they should all hopefully be parked I left it up to them left it up to them so let's get the show on the road well guys trailers parked out to the road really <laughs> Billy hasn't even made it in yet. Don't jinx me, Shane. Don't jinx me. <laughs> Got one in. Let's go check on the other. And the other. Howdy. Oh, well, I missed driver's meeting, so anything exciting? Uh, time to warm up. There's 67 cars, 60 races, 11 in each, two redraw, and we qualify. Oh boy! All right. All right. Hammer down. Art forgot his jacket, so you're going to see him squeeze into my Oh, you want to wear mine? What kind of heavy jacket? I fit in yours? <laughs> yeah, why not? Got a lot of bite. It's quite 
fast. Um, I managed to have a halfway decent first lap and uh, filled the wheel full of mud and shook like crazy. <laughs> I don't know, it wasn't a real good read on the car, but it was, uh, I think, you know, I'm just glad we're going to read your position. I won't. I won't. I go, you're going to be mad at me. He's like, what's on my face? I'm like, kind of had some dirt in your teeth. He's like, you can edit that. I'm like, nah. We're just going to leave it. I think you can go tonight. Uh, we don't hurt 300 to where in the afternoon or more, way more than tonight. Okay. I was thinking about it. it just did that a little bit. Correct. I thought that too. Uh, time fourth. Uh, I need to be better. Especially when there's 70 cars. Not bad though. Did you fix the problem? I think we did. We got a bigger hammer. <laughs> Here is time. We got Mike start on the front row. Two we draw, three qualify. The Billy's in the fifty. Start fourth. Uh, Billy B is fourth. Brago second. Three cars to qualify, two to the redraw. So 12 on the starting grid. Three will qualify, two to the redraw. A tough row to hoe tonight. So we got Mike Mahaney and Stuart Friesen in row number one. Craig Mitchell, Mike Trouchel, Rick Laubach, Francois Belmar, Jimmy Spellman, Jeff Quackenbush, Mike Shane, Kevin War, Steve Dodd, Chris Curtis. <coughs> Turn number four, Sunoco starting zone. Here they come. On a turn number four, we travel this time. Green flag flies, and immediately off to the drop is the number 35 car, Mike Mahaney. Mahaney shoots to the outside now as he swaps up, and here comes Stewie. Stewie Frazen taking the high road down the back straight. Are we going to swap lanes on oh, the 35 of Mahaney? Oh, not quite good enough. Mahaney drops down in line to defend that share of real estate. Mahaney will lead lap number one. He slides up the banking. Here comes Stewie Frazen on the inside. Third spot right now is the number 93 car, Hollywood, Frank Mitchell. Entering turn number one. Frazen looks like he's got a run on Mahaney. Mahaney will slip up high in the corner. And Friesen will grab the lead down the back straight over now. Mitchell running in third spot. Trout. right now two laps to go this time by two to go Stewie still with a straightaway lead on Mahaney's the number uh, 35 car and still the 93 of Mitchell back there spot number three reason in a short period of time has built up a three quarters of a straightaway advantage over second place Mahaney the Bears performance warehouse white flag will wave one lap to go Stewart freeze has got a pretty big lead still Mahaney two, Mitchell three Tra Record flag coming out this time. It's going to be a win for Stuart Frazen. Second spot is the 35 on Mike Mahaney. Third. We need one uh, from the parts truck. It's a it's a rear rear bracket throttle spring adapter.
Inside Jack from Frenchtown, New Jersey. The kids' kid, Billy Pouch Jr., the one P mount. 12 more cars, eight more laps, three more to qualify, two to the redraw. That is the BA Custom Headers redraw. Here they come out of the turn. Heat race number five. Well, maybe not. Drop of the green flag. Shepard did not take off on the inside line, and the yellow lights come right back on. All right, take two, heat number five. Shepard, Herlock Auto and Speed Car setting the pace out of turn number four this time, and Hackle, quick run to the outside. Bobby Hackle takes over the number one spot. Shepard second, but up to the outside right now. Rides Billy Pouch Jr. as they travel down the back straight away. Matt Shepard started on the pole. He is now battling to hold on to the last qualifying spot as Jack Lehner is to his inside. Hackle went by to grab the lead. Pouch went by to grab second. And Shepard and Lehner now battling for the last qualifying spot. Unusual sight, but the caution lights come on the speedway. We've got trouble. Um, we should be in second. Just completed a whole lap. And they just went back. And that was a really good start. The 21 of Peter Britton in this one. Here they come. Back to green, heat number five. All right, this time Shepard's a little bit more up on the wheel. And Shepard hauls it off to turn number one. Bobby Hackle, the killer crate number 97 car. He's on the outside this time. And this time Shepard waving bye-bye down the back straightaway. Look at Laner bolt in front of the kids. Get down the back straightaway for the number three spot. Pouch Jr. not giving up the fight. He's on the outside. Three cars race for spot number two. Working out of the turn for lap number one. Shepard will be your leader. Hackle second, Pouch third. Laner is right there. Into the turn. Pouch to the outside. Battling with the 97 of Hackle down the back. Can't get him this time. And Shepard now begins to pick up a pretty good advantage over the rest of the pack as the leader. But the battle continues for two, three, and four. Frenchtown, New Jersey's Billy Pouch Jr. to the wild side of things. Takes that number one car into the slot number two this time. Hackle keeps a tail on him back there in slot number three. Lehner one notch from qualifying back in spot number four. As a battle for spot number five now taking shape. Here comes Bobby Farron in the 93 car. Down the back straightaway, Varon battling it out into the turn along with the 21 of Peter Britton. Meanwhile, second is still up for grabs. Pouches on the outside will go around the 97 of Hackle and pick up position two. Remember, Billy Pouch Jr. ran here in the big series this, this season, so he's got some more laps under his belt at Orange County. No, it is the checker. Yep, that will be the checker. Yes, that was. Super Matt Shepard takes the win. Billy Pouch Jr. is second. Jack Lehner will then be third. Yeah! I could drive in as far as I can, when to stop, when not to. Yeah, I got in a little too hot there. How much fuel do you think you're going to want? One more quick. What do you have for stagger there? Seven or three. Lance drew 10, six, I'll take six. Six. Just 
just figured I'd keep my foot in it and make something work of it, you know? I watched the first couple heats from uh, the drive-in down there by the yeah. food truck, and then for years I went down there, and that was a good decision. I was like... You are hanging it out out there. I was like, we're going for it, because I'm like, I'm just going to ride around the bottom, or I'm going for it. i got a motor question for you. Yeah. When you... When you get on the throttle in the in the corner and it's got a little bit of like if you can get in the bike and you can give it some throttle, does it like then light up down the straightaway after that, or does yours hook up all the way down? About oh, down the back stretch, it does. It starts like going starts there, yep. yeah. like, and then it just goes like max RPM the rest yep. of the way until they get to the next. Yeah, it's so slippery down the straightaway. Yeah, it plays good. No, the race is good actually. Yeah, it's not the old middle town. Weird though, like you hit spots or in bite and then it's like ring. Yep, I say that. <laughs> Started fourth, and I got a nice jump on the start there, and rolled up to uh, shoot. We rolled up to second, and then I thought, I swear we took a lap and a half, and they called the start back or whatever the heck they did, and uh, put me back to fourth. Uh, I didn't get as good a start that time, but I was able to roll laner there on three, one and two, and kind of couldn't clear hackle down there, and then I finally got around him on the outside, and. Uh, we were able to get second, which put us in the redraw. We drew six, so now trying to figure out how to be a little bit better. Let's go time, boys and girls. We got 50 laps. Three flag flies will hold off the turn number one.
Schneider battling with Billy Powell Jr. All sorts of side-by-side -side action. And Friesen trying to keep pace with leader. right now, opposite start of the outside of the speedway and Yankowski, Yankowski at the drop of the green flag, right down to the inside, he goes racing with Super Matt and Matt waves him off on a turn number two here goes uh, the 44 freezing right back at Yankowski Yankowski loves the restarts out here tonight yeah, he's going to have another chance to do it caution lights back on the speedway you listen to Perego's got a lot of power up his sleeve yet has not laid it all on the table. Here they come on a turn number four. Yankowski glues himself to the tail side as Shepard drops it down to the inside this time. Real to real, they fight for the number one spot. Oh, Yankowski transfers power to the outside. Freezing gets by, and Yankowski drops back to the number three spot. Oh, the same move again around Perego, under, around Freezing and under Shepard, but he couldn't hold it out of turn number two. And Lap 21. Mike, Mike's lap down, but he's back out there. This time Yankowski got an inside lane start back there in row number two. Watch him out of turn number four this time. Which way will he travel? He was glued to Shepard's tail on the last restart. Now it's in opposite lane. Pere goes on the outside of Yankowski as we go racing. And Pere goes way up the banking that time. Look who's coming through the pack though right now. The kids kid Billy Pouch Jr. down the back straight away. Pouch Jr. made the move. Got by Yankowski and Perego, but Friesen's turning up the heat now. Unmatched Shepard for the lead. We're getting quicker down the late stage of this event. Just 14 more laps left to go. They are in lap traffic right now. Friesen, a master in lap traffic, holds on to the number one spot. Does not quite know where Shepard is back there in the mix. He knows he's somewhere back there, but he hopes to keep at least one to two lap cars between them and the number one place man. Friesen wins the Hart Clay finale. Runner up spot across the line will be Matt Shepard. Third will be Anthony Perego. Fourth spot to the line will be Billy Pouch Jr. Finally, longest 50 laps ever. I don't know how, I'm gonna handle 200. back of a master cylinder so then we lost brakes and then we had a caution and then another caution and then a red flag so I had time to fix it and uh but I didn't fully have time to like bleed them to get the pedal back so I still didn't really have good brakes but finished leave it to Mike to be so gosh darn optimistic <laughs> meanwhile I'm over here like Meh. all right let's see what this one team has to say Better have a goddamn camera on that car as long as I say about that. It's still there. 
don't know if it was hard, but still there. Got a little panel damage. Oh, okay. Did you have fun out there? Yeah, yeah, that was interesting, right? I actually was running pretty good there. I know. You got up to third. I know, right? That's great. Fourth there. Franco got me at the end. We ran side by side. Uh, just, uh, <sighs> those three are pretty good, so. Good run, though. We, uh, yeah. Really, I think that might be our top first stop. Well, no, we ran fourth here in the summer, too, so. I'm starting to like this place, which is really sad to say. <laughs> and it's not your normal cup of tea. No, not at all. Not at all. You're a hammer in the top. I was ripping up there. I was like as close as I could get a couple times. I hope you didn't run my GoPro over that you left up there yeah, somewhere. Right. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go find that. I, I, I lost my brakes. Oh. Freaking fitting broke off the back of the master cylinder. Uh -huh. So I'm in the pits yeah. and the, the caution come out yeah. and then another yellow and then a red flag. We never made a lap. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I got an easy out and pulled it out of the back, yeah. put the fitting in, put the hose on, they filled it with fluid. I went to the show. That's pretty good. I gotta give him That's an A. I gotta give him an A. Of farmer. Real good. You better go get your camera before it's gone. Okay, right, so Mike claims. Go this way? I don't know. We're, there's a creek. We gotta walk down a little bit. Mike claims he saw my GoPro. Everyone's like, "What is he doing?" On the back stretch at the start of the phaser. So I'm curious if uh, it's still there. My camera. My camera. <laughs> Another one lost. Another one lost. He was very, very convinced. I'll be very impressed if he actually saw it and finds it. The case. I saw this before the race started. It might have still had a camera in it. I don't know. Well, it's definitely mine. Well, made it through three turns so far. Found partial case. No sign of life as far as GoPro goes. And they are starting to tear up the track. So my time is running out. Qualified great, made the redraw, drew 10, which was unfortunate, and then uh, uh, lost some spots early. Yellow come out when I was in the middle of three, three and four, and uh, lap counted. Confusing how that works, but um, then I lost brakes anyway, and managed to drive around a little while with no brakes. When first yellow come out, I pitted, drove through really slow in low gear, and uh, guys did a great job getting me the tools to you know, use an easy out to get the fitting out of the, the master cylinder, and then uh, replace the fitting, put fluid in, and then I put my helmet on, and went back out and didn't get another yellow. So um, kind of needed to a chance to pump the brakes up and get going. Um, would've been nice to put my gloves on. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be mad at me again. Yep, that ran uh, out of time. Yeah, it just, there, there was no time. Um, but <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think I saw Billy go by me, so I think he did a great job, and uh, my crew did a great job, and you know we had a good qualifying effort, but the future didn't go our way. So uh, try again tomorrow. Get rid of all this. And wash it. I just cannot wait. No, this isn't gonna work, is it? Mm, you're gonna keep sliding. So I suppose that's the the recap on the evening. Uh, I suppose. Oh God, I think I need to put a brush to this. Give us your 
your two cents on what you thought of the evening and come back tomorrow. What do we got tomorrow? We've got qualifying for both big block and small block tomorrow. Apparently, driver's meeting is at noon tomorrow. So we're gonna hopefully get some sleep, regroup, and uh, do it again tomorrow. So we'll see you guys then.